Jonah Hill was an important part of August Wilson's screenplays to tell the story with pictures instead of words. It was more about what not to do. The material was already there. I was just trying to serve August the best I could. The history of the Hill District, the look of the Hill District, the people, the smells, all of that informs the narrative and captures the bigness of life in the smallest ways. In the very first meeting I had with Denzel, one of the things that was very, very important to him was to be on location. He wanted for Troy to be able to walk in his neighborhood, walk up to his house, walk through the front door, all the way through the house to the backyard. So we went off to Pittsburgh and started looking for August Wilson's Hill District. Well, I guess first just to go to where he's from, to go to the source, to his home. And I didn't know what the hill was until I got there and started seeing and meeting the people. Then it became, we have to shoot here. This is their lives. It's a hard life, but there's a lot of joy. It's a real neighborhood feeling. Denzel really challenged me to keep it as simple and spare as possible. I started with trying to find the neighborhood itself and the street that I felt was enough in period and worked for the scenes. And then I'd find a backyard. Looking for that neighborhood, I noticed a stretch of about half a block of row houses. I thought, well, we'll start knocking on doors. And we found an amazing house with unbelievably beautiful bones and details, and it was all there, sort of incredibly. We did a fair amount of work to the exterior of our hero house, Maxon House, and all of the neighboring houses on this block. One of the things I love most about this block is the view down the street looking toward downtown and the beautiful architecture, the way the buildings stack up. Being in a real space meant that Denzel is going to be able to tell the story, I think, much more authentically and honestly. The Hill District of Pittsburgh, that community where these stories take place, it was a community of blue-collar people. The struggle and the indignities through the 40s, 50s, was the philosophy in August's writing. The Hill District was this incredible epicenter of culture, of talent. But redevelopment started there at the end of the 50s, early 1960s, and pretty much half the Hill District was demolished and replaced. The house where August grew up is sort of right pretty much at the cusp of that. All that is gone now. I cannot tell you how emotional I got. When Denzel led me through the house, I was almost in tears. I walk through the front door, and I'm thinking, this is Troy Maxson's house. It was the whole world. So not only was it August Pittsburgh, it's August's world of fences. Now, what he looked like getting mad, because he see the man from the union talking to Mr. Rain. He come up to me talking about, Troy Maxson going to get us fired. I told him, get away from me with that. To get the chance to film in the Hill District, to know that he must have walked through those same streets, and to meet people who knew him, to know how much he meant to that community. You're really informed and strengthened to do your best work. Ain't nobody gonna walk no 200 miles, Pop. She, damn if I wouldn't have hitched a ride with somebody. Being committed to shooting in Pittsburgh, to shooting in the hill, that adds another level and dimension of authenticity that you can't get on a soundstage. I felt the energy and the spirit of the hill, being able to see all the streets that are mentioned in his plays, you absorb that. And it just gave me another sense of purpose. I love the way the streets are narrow, the way the houses are shaped, the tight spaces, all of that informs how we interact with each other as actors, and it becomes another character. <laughs> Where you going? I'll be right back. When? I'm just going right down the street. When we were shooting there, the people felt very protective of fences. I'm an actor first, and I know how I felt as an actor. You know, you get there and feel that energy, the taste in the city. You know, in order to know where you're going, you got to know where you came from. Knowing history is a big part of it. 
Denzel actually found a beautiful uh, photograph by Teeny Harris that showed a building downtown with a painted advertisement for Clark Bars, which is a Pittsburgh original candy bar. So we catch little glimpses of it from the backyard, and you can imagine that that's the corner market. Teeny Harris, great photographer from the Hill. He'd take one shot. He said he'd let all the other photographers work and, and they'd run it around and he'd find the best place and then he'd get right there. And he was known for popping the bulb out of the camera and catching it in his pocket. Because all of our storefronts were based on photographs of Wiley Avenue that Teeny Harris had taken, we did a bit of an homage to him with a Pittsburgh Courier storefront, which was where he worked. We faithfully recreated the neighborhood that August grew up in. It came with sort of a lot of searching and a lot of adjusting to make it authentic to 1957. But I think it's led to some beautiful choices and a beautiful way of telling the story. This is a Hill story written by a man from the Hill about people from the Hill. This was their home and he's their hero. That's why we had to be here.